Hello, I'm Frank LaBeouf and you're watching Party Poker's Postal Challenge 4. London Town is the venue for a poker game with big money on the line. Behind the barbed wire and high fences, there's a serious poker room where the biggest games go down. The Poker Dan is open for business. Daddy's home. Larry, Thank congratulations. You. Hot seat for hot sauce. Bully. Oh my god. First of chance, isn't it? Unbelievable. That wasn't a bluff, that was the best. In amongst the famous faces, there's the experience of a lifetime for two internet qualifiers to take on their sporting heroes in each heat. Only the winner will move through to pick up 7,000 pounds in a seat at the final table, with the champion taking a tidy 20,000 pounds and the title. Taking a seat in the den is one of the most renowned players ever for Juventus. He's the only European goalkeeper in history to have won all international club competitions. This is Italian Stefano Tacconi. He's beaten over 8,000 players online just to get here and now takes a seat with his sporting heroes. This is Blackpool's Paresh Patel. This former English footballer notched up over 180 first team appearances for Spurs, highlighted by a 91 FA Cup victory. This is Steve Sedgley. A member of Wimbledon's crazy gang, Laurie Sanchez scored the goal that won Wimbledon the FA Cup in 1998. He managed Wickham Wanderers to the FA Cup semi-final and also managed Northern Ireland to their highest international ranking. Football stars don't come any bigger than this. As a French international, he won the 1998 World Cup. In over 200 matches for Chelsea, he won two FA Cups and a Cup Winners' Cup. This is Frank the Beef LeBuff. Our second internet qualifier has flown in from the Netherlands. This is Raymond Boschart. A former Northern Ireland international who is the youngest player ever to appear in a World Cup. He's also a Manchester United star, scoring 66 goals for his side, and was last year's Sports Star Challenge runner-up, Norman Whiteside. It's a new playing surface for these boys, but you still need to tackle your opponents and show skills that'll leave them in your wake. Cash is the goal in this match. Lots of it. <laughs> This could start as a tie and end in a scrap of footballers heat up for the Sports Stars Challenge. And I'm joined by a big football fan himself, Ian Fraser. And you know, slouch on the poker table either, Ian. No, um, Jesse, I just wished I could have been an online qualifier here. What a table to sit down and have a game of poker with. Look at these guys. I mean, you, fantastic. You're a Chelsea fan. There's a yeah, Chelsea man on the table. This is Frank LaBeouf, who, I mean, as a Chelsea fan, this has to be one of your sporting heroes. Creme de la creme. I mean, he, he had um, a little yeah. blip in his career. He went off with France and, and come back with a World Cup uh, winner's uh, medal. But he's highlight and must be when he played for Chelsea. I didn't. What a fantastic no. player. <laughs> They don't want to upset English The chips people. on the table. The green <laughs> chips worth nice. $25. The blue yeah. chips are 50 The reds are worth 100 2000 yeah, bucks yeah. in front of every player. <laughs> There's 14 k in play. Blind started $25 and $50. Yeah, now, Ian, without <coughs> knowing anything about all the players at the table, I mean, Norman Whiteside, he's played in every edition of this Sports Star Challenge. The runner-up last year, you got to make him the favorite. Yeah, well, we, we don't know about the qualifiers. I mean, we've we got to assume that their games are good. Um, but, yeah, it'll be the favourite of the remaining, the, the, you know, the celebrity footballers for sure. Pass. Do you think uh, there was a card school at uh, Chelsea? I ain't so sure in them days. Uh, they'd probably have a balls court out the back. The majority of the team was <laughs> French, wouldn't they? So. Pass. I'm not so sure they played poker. Cool. Now this, in the one seat, Stefano Tacconi, who, uh, a real superstar among uh, European goalkeepers. Juventus, um, I mean, he, he won everything with Juventus. Uh, he was in that really great team that they had for years where they just, they never lost anything. Whatever they played in, they won, and, and he was like their number one keeper at the time.
Or he's flopped. I don't know how much poker experience he has, but this is a bit tricky now. He's flopped bottom pair. It's still bottom pair. There's four to a straight out there. Um, <laughs> that's a pretty ugly card for Takoni. And Paresh Patel knows what to do with his straight. <laughs> and uh, this is the online qualifier. He was born in Nairobi, Paresh, now lives in Blackpool. We LaBeouf under the gun. Now, was that his nickname also, The Beef? It's, it's a funny sort of last name. I mean, yeah, Frank oh, the Beef. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> or Frank the Steak. Pass. This uh, Raymond Bouchard Pass. from France. He's a qualifier. Raise to 100 total. Um, no, 100. Yes, yeah, 150. So, 150. Yeah. Raise yeah. to 150 total. Now, most of Norman's poker has actually taken place uh, Whoa. in these Look televised tournaments. Hello. Another 150, because he's made it 150, so you need to make it three. So if you give me three blues. And Whiteside, uh, <coughs> you certainly wouldn't blame him for re-raising all. I mean, there's not that many chips in this tournament. What would you be doing here with the ace-king if well, it gets back to him? Pass. It's really hard, Jesse. You know, <laughs> these you don't know what um, what his poker. Unless you see, you don't know um, his how his skill is in poker. You don't know what he's doing. He could quite have aces or nothing. So Norman Whiteside has very sensibly chosen to call. I'm guessing if it doesn't come an ace or king, he might be able to get away. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> oh my god! That's gosh. unbelievable. And now you're starting to feel for Stefano Tacconi. Um, um, Three hundred. Three yeah. hundred. This is a man, Stefano, who uh, apparently he's, he's the only European goalkeeper to have won every club cup. Um, cool. And yeah, I think it's easier to, to try and list what he hasn't won with Juventus. It, unbelievable, his record, this guy. But, I mean, this is, this is, he cannot get away from this. He's got the aces and, you know, a king, obviously, for a split, but. 300. 300. Tell you what, he's lucky. He's he's got out of this quite light. You know, you would expect <laughs> to put at least at least uh, half of all their chips in. Well, I mean, Whiteside knows how strong his hand is. It's the nuts. It, how deep is he going to go on this river? Is he going to go for it all? All in. Yeah. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's really. <laughs> this is his arena, Norman. He's outdrawn the aces. And. You know, because we don't know anything about Stefano. We that's, that's what I'm saying. It's a really difficult thing, and he minimum raised him pre-flop. Which is quite a sophisticated play. He's, He's laid passed. down. Yeah, nice play. I mean, that is awesome. Goalkeeper, you see. Goalkeeper. Wayne Rooney wouldn't have laid that down, would he? Never. <laughs> Michael Owen, <laughs> never. Michael Owen. He's done well there. He's laid down the bullets. That's a, You cannot do that in this format, and he's done it. And he was right. And how about old Norman Whiteside? Welcome back to the Sports Stars Challenge 4. I'm joined by Ian the Razor Fraser for this footballer's heat, where Norman Whiteside has sprinted down the sideline to a huge lead. Stefano Tacconi. Lucky cool. to still be in the building. Cool. Pass. Limp in with the pair. Sedgley's coming cool. along. And LaBeouf agreeable. Cool. There is. <coughs> I thought it was the do seven from Norman. But this is a... a total. Now, if it's a strong play. Cool. I'm not sure about the size. It, it's going to make this pot really big. Yeah. I, cool. I think with these sort of players, you don't have to um, bet quite big. We found out um, watching these heats before that just just a minimum raise does the trick here. Well, this has brought everybody in, and Bouchard. You know, I might have been tempted. I know it's the do seven, but I might have been tempted there. What about you? May have been. <laughs> Pursued. Look at this pot. $650, four players in, and Norman's got the lead, but not anymore. Um, although, you know, 100. 
us. I kind of feel like if Norman had made it 200 <laughs> pre-flop and 400 now, the pot yeah. would be over. Yeah. Cool. Um, well, as it is. Is he going to cool or rise? Cool. cool. If it comes a jack, uh, there's going to be madness at this table. The hounds will let loose. That's what Whiteside needs for the straight. Would have been a bit of fun, you have to say. Yeah. 100. And, you know, from, from these players' point of view, um, all they've seen Norman do since we sat down is just bet, bet, bet. Yeah. Um, you you don't really blame Frank LaBeouf for, for taking a stand here. Um, he can't no, fold for 100, no, can it's he? Just, just so, it's such an easy call. You know... Frank's got position on him. Um, he can afford just to sit there and, and let this let this go down. And yet, if Norman shoves all in on... Oh, oh God. Jesse, you're unbelievable. <laughs> How have you called that I in? I don't know. If he, if he shoves all in on the river. <laughs> oh, I'd love to see it. He might have gotten, gotten called on the river if he had shoved all in. I don't... He could have bet about 900 there. Poor oh. Steve Sedgley. I mean, when these cards... Now, LeBouf's got a bit of a tough spot here. Look at the odds he's getting yeah, in this yeah. pot. Well, he, yeah, he's played that well, hasn't he? When these cards get turned over, there will be a collective gasp on this table, and Takano is going to say, What's going on? I folded aces. <laughs> <laughs> Sedgley can hardly believe it. Nice record. I know where he won last year. Look at all the chips he's got. Such a Barbie's at five moments. I mean, he's. Jeez, he's over four grand already. Yeah. This is crash bang wallop stuff. Norman White, he's won every pot of significance. He's nearly won every pot. Um, I don't think Tacconi's going to be making any more good laydowns against Norman. No, definitely not after watching that. His minimum raise when he had the aces saved him, really. And that's why he's still sitting there now, because yeah. if he makes it three times, um, you know, the pot's bigger automatically, and then he, he has to call the river back. And just having just sort of watching the way he's handled himself since then. Cool as a cucumber, isn't it? Yeah, but you have to assume that he made that minimum raise for the, the reason most pros make it. You know, don't don't chase it. Make the pot bigger, but don't chase out on any of these worse hands. Right. It's actually raise. Yeah, it's raise. Yeah, it's like a dream. Okay, raise to 100. LeBeouf and Bouchard, and now Norman. Cool. Pass. And... Oh, cool. 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 Now we're talking. <laughs> a couple similar type hands. If it comes a nine or a ten, um, and Frank has shown that he can make the continuation bet after raising. Let's see what happens if he well, he didn't well, miss. Check. Gosh, this ain't Check. a bad flop for Sedgley. Right. Let's draw on straight draw. Straight draw One for Frank. And top pair and a straight draw for Parish Patel. Uh -huh. Cool. Now it's easier to just call that bet because it's so small, I guess. Yes. Yeah, don't mind that either way, really. You know, he, he don't want to be seeing a, another club here with his 9-10. Oh, my gosh. That, that's just the absolute bingo card. <laughs> well, now look at this. Three nines for Patel, the flush for Sedgley, and the and nut, the nut flush, flush draw. draw. Cool. So, uh, Paresh has bet it out. I believe. No, LeBeouf has, LeBeouf has bet it out. <coughs> Patel is called. Sedgley is called. Well, Where's the action? I oh know, I can't believe it. Can't believe none of them have raised. Another club. I wonder what Paresh is thinking right now. It would have been a great spot for him to raise his. Oh! <laughs> Look at this. I it's don't got believe a ten it. Of clubs. Yes, I mean you just don't believe it. That's a straight oh, flush for mate. Patel. Look, he's looking twice. He he can hardly contain himself. And three hundred. Three hundred. And if this just gets called on the river by I, this pot, should be they should all they be. They should all be. They should all be. Three of them. Just call. Cool. I oh. laugh if he just calls now on the end. This will make this will make it for me. 
He really should be raising, shouldn't he? He can only be beat by. Hey! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Insane! Well, I got one Insane! It's a straight, straight flush. Oh, yeah. How did? How is Frank LaBeouf and Steve Sedgley? How are they still sitting here? Yeah. Well, he must be looking at their hands now. This guy must be looking at the hands and thinking, "How oh, haven't I got all their chips?" <laughs> Unbelievable hand. I'm not sure which was the bigger money card, the turn or the river. Um, Sedgley, that's the second time he's been completely hard done by on the yeah. river. And, <laughs> I mean, he should be throwing a tantrum well, in there. Yeah, there should have been raises on every street there, Jesse. It should have been a flop raise, turn, and then a bigger bet on the river. And a re-raise. Amazing. I can't remember the last time I saw a straight flush in this game. I mean, both set Now, Sedgley's down to about 700, but LaBeouf, he's got more than half his stack. Cold. Pass. Pass. <laughs> Sedgley's made two pair and a flush. Um, lost both pots. And <laughs> it gives you a very skewed idea of hold well, on. He's got the conkers. And he's. Now, he's just checked his option from the big blind here. He and. Um, well, it's going to allow him well, to get away cheaply. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to throw away kings, even if the ace is on the board. Fifty. <laughs> Fifty. This is this is easily one of the strangest games I've ever <laughs> witnessed. Is the king coming on the turn? Oh, don't. Be a hundred now. Fifty. He's really <laughs> settled down. He's really settled down in his in his later part of his career here, Sanchez. 50, 50, 50. Know, 50. So fair play at the end, you never know. <laughs> this is good for Frank, you know. Um, he's getting away with these kings cheap now. Yeah, he really is. I want to grab his chips now. Fifty. Let's see. Go. Laurie might be a limit player. 50, 50, 50. Yeah. But you know what? He was never going to get any more, was he? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> no. And so that sort of completes the trifecta. We've seen the aces cracked, the kings cracked, the nut flush beat. <laughs> Larry, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you, for, so making, thank you for making sure. Uh, yeah. Last time. My name is Laurie Sanchez. Um, formerly manager of Fulham and uh, Northern Ireland. I'm a novice poker player. I mean, I play online. This is going to be my first tournament. I've, I've always wanted to play in a tournament. I've seen them on TV and thought I could do better than that. So I'm going to have the chance um, tonight. We're brought up in an environment where you're taught to win and, and winning is the be all and end all. And sometimes you don't break the rules, but you push them as far as you can. I think um, in poker it's slightly different. You could, there are rules and you can't break them. Um, it'll be interesting to see um, who does win this one this afternoon. Uh, Almost four years now. Have you? Yeah. He plays now for sort of a celebrity Frank soccer side uh, in Hollywood. Australian. Frank LaBeouf. Oh, yeah. I understand. Any thoughts? It's a pretty fast life out there with the Beckhams and the yeah. Cruises. Yeah, right. Raise the 200. I wonder Pass. if he pals around with David Beckham. Oh. Pass. Oh. 200. 200 to I gotta, you gotta root for Taconi to win a pot, hit a flop. Of course we are. I mean, <laughs> I think that the biggest fault that these guys have when they come uh, to play this game, they don't actually raise enough. You know, um, they should be raising more than uh, the minimum. Yeah, and this now doing. real trouble for Stefano. Cool. Um, you know, if he had made that 300 or 350, uh, Sanchez could not have called pre-flop, and now he's just in the muck and mire. 100. Cool. Uh, he's got outs here, Stefano, the ace or the 10. I'd like to hit one of Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh. Whoa, he didn't take long doing that. Oh, he said, I haven't got much option. <laughs> it's 375. So I mean, he, he must call. 
but he probably thinks he's behind and um, probably pass. Yeah. Okay. See, they, they they play the game a completely different way. <laughs> yeah. You know, the, the math max doesn't come into it with these guys um, because obviously they're just starting out. <laughs> and Stefano, I, I kind of liked the way he was betting that hand on the turn because he didn't want to have to call a bet. He didn't want to be bet off the pot. He just bet the little bit there. Uh, keep himself drawing live. I mean, he could have checked and folded. The 10 wasn't bound to come. 100 in the big brand, please. Feels a little better Two now. It'd be an amazing recovery. Cento. I know, but so. I have not even sure who the favorite is right now. It seems completely random. No, I don't think there is one. <coughs> well, well, this guy could be favorite. Yeah. Anyways. Um, 300. 300 total. You see, he's not giving them the odds to call by making it the 300. No, and he has had some one, some money at poker. He's cashed for 6,000 pounds in one of the London events. So Look, you see uh, what I mean? Is ace, king, ace, queen, and is the the pot sizes are just so small, aren't they? Yes. No one's no one's taking off with anything. Do you feel that the king jack 10 coming? No. Norman does. You want ace, don't you? Just see, um, wow, well, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Okay. Nut flush draw here for Paresh. Now, are you betting this? 200. Yeah. 200. It's a pretty small bet, actually. Cool. Not exactly sure what range of hands you put Norman on here if you're Paresh. You don't care anymore. Check. You know you have to bet it. But you want to be betting enough so you can get the rest of the money in on the river. That's yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. I mean, the, you know, I, the idea is when you know that you've, you know, you've, you're going to get the, you got the other person strangled. You, you've got to make the right turn bet Check. in order to make the river bet. Now, three hundred. So small. So, yes, How much could he have gotten? You think four hundred and six hundred maybe, or yeah, more. Five hundred and a thousand. Yeah. I, w yeah. I would have definitely bet the turn and the river a lot more than that. Um, well, I'd have even bet the flop more. I mean, he bet two hundred on the flop. In the, was it nine hundred? Into seven, seven, yeah. He is the new chip leader, but yeah, you could think once Norman's called so quick on the turn, um, you want to test him, don't you? Yeah, this guy could have six and a half thousand chips now quite easily. We've still got six on the pitch. No draws allowed in this game. There will only be one winner, and he'll be seven grand richer by the end of the night. The funny thing about a poker game is no matter what the lineup is, sometimes it just doesn't matter. The cards are gonna make just weird things happen. It's unbelievable <coughs> the hands that have been out in this heat so far. And no one's been busted. No, uh, you know, you put a different lineup in there, and as you say, we'd, we'd be heads up. Four, four players, honestly, could have gone broke already. Um, if Paresh Patel doesn't come and win this thing, He's going to think about a couple of these hands where he <clears throat> what could have been. Go. 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 What are the chances? Look, three aces out there, one in the deck. Yeah, you know it's coming, don't you? <laughs> if it's going true to form, it has to. Five players in this pot. Couple nines I've seen. Check. The nines I've seen. Check. Yeah, that's more like it. You know, the the size of the bet is it's more like it. That, you know, oh, he's bet one hundred. I thought yeah. he said four. Well, yeah, he's got to find out where he's at, but it's hard with that with that bet size, isn't it? Yeah, you're gonna get a call from almost any yeah. hand. <laughs> Piacere. Let them Pleasure, you say. Nines versus the twos. 
Both with the ace kicker. Check, 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 check. And he had to check there because he didn't bet much on the flop. So now he's not really sure if he's ahead, he's behind. Yeah, check, I mean, it's check, just, check, you know, the way the whole game's been played so far, it's all slowly, slowly and cagey. They don't want to overcommit. And, you know, that's fair enough for them. They're quite happy to uh, rake in a little pot. What they don't realise is uh, in these games, you don't get that many opportunities to to win these pots. So every, you know, for us guys, when we play, we, we try to maximise it, you know, all the time. Raise to 200. Who knows what he's... Those what his intentions are now. <laughs> this guy, he's, he's got no luck. And he's just, he's just cooled as well. <laughs> I mean, if there's a ladder on it, he's going to walk under a ladder, trip over broken glass, get bitten by a black cat. I mean, poor Dakota. <laughs> this poor guy. And he might actually decide to call Norman Whiteside down here. He I might get I his chips know. in. 300. 300. Holly. Oh, <laughs> that's the first thing he <laughs> said tonight. And. <laughs> I really feel for Stefano. I really do. Uh, that seat was, that was just the seat of the, of ejection, really. Yep. I mean. The ace has got turned over. Now the ace king's gotten turned over. He's got an out here, an ace. But, well, it's just not going to happen, is it? He needs it. A little ace. That's it. A little ace. Referee. First casualty. Adios. Adios. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I'll tell you what, he, he played for an hour longer than he should have been playing for. I, I can't believe he got away from the no, first hand. No, 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 no. <laughs> to me, he's been the, he's the player in the heat. I think he's played some great poker. I don't know how he's there. You know, that, that, that wasn't an easy move to move all in with the ace-king on that flop, but it, it was a good, strong play. Um, picked out his man, too. Thought, I don't know why that might not happen. If you look at the chips now, to Coney. It was like he was in goal and they were shooting at him from all sides. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Practice day. <laughs> Stefano Tacconi, he really didn't get to show what he was made of tonight. Nobody can withstand that onslaught. Balls in every corner, straight at him in the stomach. Um, now, six-handed. Yeah, that was like a penalty shootout, Jesse, wasn't it? It was, was going to let one in and yeah. sooner or later. You never really know what Norman's going to do next. He's he's actually quite entertaining to watch because he's, you know, he's gotten a bit of experience in this format, so he's definitely aware of the the rising blinds and he can be aggressive. He can come out with some he can come out with some big bets. I have a lot of confidence. He should he, he probably has an enormous amount of confidence, and so he should. See, these guys, that the qualifiers, they should be picking up on this, the, the, all the quick checks. You know, it's obvious nobody has got anything here. 200. That's well, it. Frank. And that was yeah. a good card to bluff on. It paired the board. Yeah. Unlikely to prove anybody's hand. And you know what? He deserves that. And if you know there's dead chips out there, you've got to have a go at, go at them. That was clever. I'm Frank LeBeuf, I'm 41 years old and I'm a former uh, football player playing for Strasbourg, Chelsea, Marseille and the French national team. I live in Los Angeles so I'm going sometimes to, uh, to Las Vegas and uh, I, I, I used to play blackjack because you know, you're by yourself and I, I knew the game uh, uh, very well 
And I say, why don't I like try playing poker? And it's nice, you know. But I first say, oh wow, well, I'm too honest to play poker. You know, you have to bluff, you have to, to lie, you have to cheat, and whatever it is. And so I said, ah, it's not for me. But, you know, you get into the game and it's becoming very interesting. You can talk to people, it's fun, you know, if you don't take too seriously. And uh, I'm not pretending of being a champion of the world of poker. So I'm just enjoying my life and I love it. And I love all card games and uh, the Texas Hold'em, you know, is a, is a new game, I mean, for me. And, uh, and uh, it's something I really, uh, really enjoy. Well, the blinds must be going up again. 75 and 150 now. And, you know, it's there's three players out there who it's going to hurt. Uh, LaBeouf and Sanchez. And Sedgley is in dire straits. Yeah, he is. Um, uh, and let's see if, you know, if the raises stay the same. It seems like, you know, the footballers, when they put a raise in, it's um, double the blind. And the uh, two qualifiers, there we go, Frank's got a nice hand. Great. Cool. Well, he's just flat called. It's <laughs> a lad, isn't he? Nice. Um, yeah, and I was going to say, in the qualifiers are putting in the standard raise, you know, the three times. It's funny. I mean, it was folded around to him on the button. Now, he has been raising pre-flop, so you can only assume that this is, uh, you know, a limp in design to get a little action. Um, he's playing in a funny way. He's not to know that the four that that he's giving uh, Norman a free shot at a four. Check. I guess you you check the flop to be safe. You check the turn to be very safe. Yeah, he he was in. You know, he had the perfect spot there to raise um, pre-flop. He had the button in front of him. 200. Look at this. And because of the way. LeBeouf has played this hand. There's more of a reason to call. He hasn't represented any strength at all. Of course. He's just called, as you said it. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah, in your mind. I mean, he can't be putting Norman on ace uh, himself. It, if he hit the jack, he would have bet it. So, yeah, he's sort of, that's all gone through his mind. And um, he's happy to get his 200 in and take the pot down. Whiteside caught with his toe in the cookie jar. And LeBeouf uh, <laughs> managed to pick that one off. Interesting, really. <laughs> it didn't look like a very strong hand on the river, but you know what? It's weird for us, Jesse, watching, because obviously we're used to watching um, the pros play and and make comments on their games, but this is really difficult to try and deduce what's going to happen um, with these guys. They're just doing... Everything's totally random. Pass. Which makes it very tough for everyone at that table. Pass. You know... I guess you almost have to do what, just play your yeah. own game and... Y yeah, you can't get a line on anything. What, what's going on? Cool. Pass. I feel like, though, that limping in makes things trickier because at least, you know, not only do you define your hand by making, even if it's a little raise, but you define the other player's hands a little bit as well, don't you? Yeah. Um, I mean, if I was sitting here, the way this game goes, any sort of hand that I would have in late position, I, I'd be... Um, Flat calling because you know that you can outplay all these guys. Now, Paresh Patel has been slipping the top pair several times, cool. and this is it's worked here. Although, you know, he could have check raised, he's check called here. What does he intend to do on the turn now? Well, that's, that's made his decisions a lot okay. easier. Bouchard thinks he's he might even have the best hand. He's had middle pair, he's turned it into a cool. flush draw. Um, <clears throat> This pot's 1,100, and neither player has any idea if they're ahead. Well, Raymond knows now. And if Patel checks and calls here, he's going to look at this flush and say, I should have bet him off it at yeah. some point. What is, what is he bet? He's bet what? 200. It's just not enough, is it? No. I mean, he's, he's definitely getting paid off here. Um, yeah, but he'd probably He doesn't get, know what the range is, right? He, he'd probably get four or five hundred at the worst way. And and seven hundred wouldn't be a horrible yeah, bet either, would it? Yeah. <laughs> Boucher wants this call. He's got it. Floosh. <clears throat> and I don't know if he's seen the flush. 
Måske jeg får du Jack. Ah? Huh? Look at me. Yeah. Yeah, he said he was. I was scared you had the Jack, but hit the river card. Um. He's got 3,300. Oh, he's, he's feeling delighted. And, uh... You know, he... I think he's done a lot of things. He'll be really happy about that head. It's just that... He could have got so much more. What's going on? And... Kind of. I, I have the feeling that LeBouf could go on a little bit of a run here. He's He's got some good instincts. But it won't be the first time he's been on a good run. Nice. He's, he scored four? goals too? Oh, yeah. He, he was one of the best penalty takers Chelsea's had. Oh, penalty taker, yeah. You know, the, all the free kicks. Crash. Cool. What a CV to a World Cup nice. winner. You know, go and win the World Cup. When when you win the World oh. Cup, Jesse, you you bash the Brazilians three 0 <laughs> Yeah. I mean, what a way to win it. Yeah. Right. That was some team they had. This flop's gone four ways: two limpers and the blinds. And that ace, that's hit Paresh Patel, who's perked okay. right up on the button. Action to Sanchez, who, what's Lori up to? Second pair. Okay, he dropped 50 in, but he didn't announce anything, so. He obviously wanted to raise, yeah, so it's 150. One well, Mad, Mad Marty's ruled it as a minimum bet, which is correct. That's 150. Uh, just to find out where he's at. Pass. <coughs> I'm going to raise. Raise. And there's the answer. 450. To 450 total. In. Oh my. Okay. Oh That's my. And Lori's called as well. Okay, 175. Well, essentially knows he's drawn. He's got the nut. Unless this game is high low, he needs a five. <laughs> um, now. They're not going to turn the cards over because even though uh, Sedgley's all in, they'll be betting on the side here. Um, and yeah, there's betting <coughs> on the side with with Laurie. He's, he's obviously got second pair. Yeah. Now he, he he may have just called for the pot odds. I wonder what's going to happen on the turn. Um, you know, Paresh Patel at this stage might be saying to himself, "My ace is a little bit vulnerable." He may just check it down. Yeah. Queen or Jack is what Laurie needs. The five or the three. No, that didn't change yeah. anything. Well, is there a value bet here for Paresh? Is there a... That's right. I don't okay. yeah, it well, doesn't feel like you had one. There should have been, Jesse, but not the way the game's been going. I think this is where the old bucket and sponge comes out. Yeah, Sedgley just got... Okay, this one. He's just had the floor wiped with him. I mean, he's, he's made the second best hand a couple times and the third best hand the other times. And uh, there's just no way, no, no. way he could have got it out of the He was been terribly unlucky, Jesse, with them two hands, you know. Um, and then nothing's gone right for him since. You know, he hasn't picked up anything. And Everything going right for Paresh Patel. Five now on the floor. And Patel near five grand. Um, all of a sudden now Laurie is... Yeah, he's on the slippery slope now. Yeah. Well, I wasn't last out again. That's always a, a worry of us footballers. But yeah, every time I come, I learn a, I learn a little bit more, a bit more experience. I uh, got caught up in a couple of hands that I think the more experienced players would probably see through that I didn't see. But yeah, another good experience. Enjoy the day. So just five, and it's been, it's been a funny way down to five. Uh, I think, you know, Steve had just had enough. He had a draw and went with it. But what are the dynamics Pass. now? I mean, do you see Paresh Pass. kind of taking control here? He's He should Pass. do, Jesse. You know, um, he's been fairly comfortable all the way through. Oh. You know, it's, it's been like nibble, nibble, nibble all the time. He's got himself a nice stack. He should um, press on now and win this. Not for the first time, LeBouf has checked before the flop with a hand that 
like you know he's been here. raising with lesser hands so it's to me it feels trappy but he's he's in the pickle right now okay minimum is 150. um he's in a big pickle here LaBeouf. sanchez has flopped three of a kind and doesn't have that many chips This is, he has to change his mind now, doesn't he? He thought it was really strong hand before the flop. Oh. You know, what is the strength of it right now? If Laurie keeps betting, he really has to do some hard thinking, doesn't he? Yeah, he'll, I think if Laurie bets again, he'll pass. 150. Yeah. yeah, he did well to get away there. And pots have been few and far between for Lori Sanchez. He'll be yeah. happy yeah. to yeah. take yeah. that yeah. one down. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to brag, you know, you can turn it. Just try to see if he's blocking Frank. Two seven off. Yeah. See on TV, you see on TV. Yeah, see on TV, exactly. <laughs> I wonder if Sanchez and Norman White had ever played on the same side for Northern Ireland. I guess they're probably near the same generation anyway. Yeah, it must they're be. Topped or tailed each other. I wouldn't know. But. Pass. Limp in, King 10 suited. Cool. And there's some power out there. Medium size ace for the beef. <coughs> and a check from the boss heart. The beef and the boff. <laughs> and LaBeouf. Okay, minimum. But I was going to say, if it's checked to Norman, I think he's going to bet. Here comes, uh, here comes LaBeouf leading out. This is Pass. a nice cool. idea. Cool. What do you think? Should he keep at it? Well, he's this first time he's done this, isn't it? Oh, let's see if he perseveres. You know, once uh, it's a problem. You saying once Norman calls you, he doesn't often stop. Yeah, that's right. Once he calls, you know, the, your, the bells should be ringing that he's not calling with with nothing. He's got something. There's a the jacks bought with even more draws. Um, this is quite a brave bet. Wow, that's respect. Yeah. That was quite a brave bet there. I would certainly respect. And he's picked himself up off the floor. Really not about the cards for Frank LaBeouf. It's just sheer willpower. Yeah, yeah, determination. They told him he couldn't play football. They're not laughing now. <laughs> You always, when you watch these, you, you always just want to see somebody grab the game by the scruff of the neck and just... One fifty it's, it's always so nice to watch someone just pound it through. Um, you see, you, this is what I'm saying, Jess. See, you don't know. If you were sitting there and you think, right, he's limped, another bit of... Oh, look at this. Now, he needs to raise. He doesn't need to raise that much. But he does need to raise. What did he say there? I think it's 425. It's an odd sort of bet. Um, or maybe it was three. I think it's 425. It looks like four. Unless that's Norman's chips out there. Um, 325. 325 total. It's just over a minimum bet. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> Norman's gone walkabout. <laughs> yeah, you think it should have always been a, a bigger raise or what? Yeah, uh, what's he raised it? One seven five. Yeah, it's nearly a min raise. Um, well, he, he'll um, he'll probably just call this now. I'll call. Call. If he's just playing against Sanchez's stack here, he's going to get them all in, even by betting small. Don't. <laughs> I thought he was going to jack. That's up. Um, there he goes. 
I'll call. Call. You know, he's got an eye on Sanchez's stack. Now, Sanchez has about 500 left, so he should be able to get this in. This will kill me if it comes a diamond. No. Or he can bet it now, or he can bet half of it, I guess. Is that what you'd be thinking, or you just bet it? Yeah, well, just his yeah. chips have got to go. He will be all in by the, by the river, right? for sure. That is the idea for Bouchard. He knows his aces are good. I mean, if they're not good. Cool. If, and really, I mean, Sanchez is, he has no way of knowing he's behind. You'd think you'd be ahead here nearly all the time if you're Sanchez, wouldn't you? Or no? No, it's, it's a real funny, I'd have found out a lot earlier, Jesse. You know, the chips are there for a reason, for you to gain information. You know, and they're not, not cool. you see, they're not using them for that. He's so, he's left Laurie yeah. with a with a scratching. That's it, a chicken scratching. They're not using the the, the chips for what they're meant for. You know, is to f to find out to save you in the long term. But because they're betting so small, it's not killing anyone. Nice right. Right. You can afford to keep going along with it. Yeah. It's a it's a feather tickling yeah. match. <laughs> Yeah. But poor Laurie Sanchez, he's been he's been left to ruminate about what could and should have been. Three footballers, two internet qualifiers, one LeBeouf. Looks like a guy who's been hanging out in Hollywood, you know. A nice, he does, nice he? tan. I mean, it's nice there every day. Oh. Every day is nice in Hollywood. Pass. One fifty. You ever been to Hollywood? No. Um. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Yeah, I have. Pass. <coughs> Only sightseeing, though. Okay. No. And Sanchez gets the cheap flop here from the big blind. Give him a car. Yes. Boy. I feel I oh, feel yeah. a comeback. Oh. I feel a comeback coming on. And he might get called in two spots. He might do. He might do. Definitely uh if Frank passes, he's gonna get called by Norman. It's gonna be easier later. Cool. Yeah, well, how can, Nor can Norman pass here? Yeah, I, mean, I think it, he can pass now. Go on, Norman. Go on. See what we'll we'll call. Call. See what we'll call. Call. <laughs> This pot, wow. this pot's 1,600. Yeah, he's got massive value if it don't come a spade, Laurie. <laughs> now, there's still side betting. Still side betting between LeBuff and, and Whiteside. And, and LeBuff will be a little bit worried about this. He doesn't want... Doesn't want to get bit out of this on the turn. Wants a spade. Well, I'll take it, King. <laughs> uh, oh, he's, if he bets it, he puts Norman in a right. Yeah, what? He must call the 200. He's got. He should call the 200. Really? There was 1,600 in yeah. there, right? And for Laurie Sanchez, he had mentally checked out of this game. And. Uh, oh. Couple minutes of extra time now. Oh. Whoa! Oh! How's your luck? I'll tell you what. I mean, you talk about being thank given you, false you. hope. Nothing changes. Chelsea bash up Wimbledon again. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that, that was a hard day on the pitch. But for LeBeouf here, Big Pot, he all of a sudden is looming large. He should have been knocked out with the jacks. Then he triples up. Then he <laughs> flops a flush. Unbelievable, isn't it? Not really fair, is it? It only happens live. It don't happen on the <laughs> internet. Spade on the river, and the king of spades plays. King high flush beating the queen high flush for the knockout. First time I played... Um, at a table, I've always played online before, so to um, get involved in a, an on-table game was good. Um, I thought I was out of the game at one stage, got myself back in a little bit, and then um, I think that's bad luck. It's another another um, 
the spade coming out of the pack when there's already six on the table, I thought it was a bit harsh. Um, but it was enjoyable, very enjoyable, and um, you know, good to get involved with people that played before. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wow, I never had so much money. Yeah, he's excited and he should be. Look at that. Look at those chips he's got. Yeah, I think he's shown the, the most flair yeah. out of the footballers uh, in his game so far, so good luck to him. I think the blinds might have just hit one in 200. They have. Yes. Chips spilling. Those are Norman White sides. <laughs> you know, when he... Uh, he did play in the World Cup. He broke he Pele's record as the yeah, youngest the ever player to play in the yeah, World Cup. Yeah, I, I mean, he's a... No. <laughs> you were talking about how there was a different generation of players, you know, now everyone's on. But it went, he was uh, He was the Wayne Rooney of his day, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. He was. Michael. Cool. Limp in, a check, and you just like to see LaBeouf if, if, oh, look at it's this, it's Paresh, it's showing a little aggression, and, you know, if you're Frank LaBeouf, you can't spot this. No, and I think, you know, it's like we've been saying, he's obviously realized now, you know, he's got himself in a nice comfortable position, and it's all of a sudden the penny's dropped. Yeah. And he's, you know, he, this is his chance to crack on and win this on the bridle. That was the first hand of one in 200, so maybe he had a game plan all along <laughs> yeah. that this was the time. That's what you mean. My name's Parish Patel, and I started playing poker about 14 years ago, and I play on and off now, and I work in retail at the moment. I qualified to get the seat today through Party Poker's free roll, and the first round was quite difficult because quite a large number of people entered it, and there was only 10 people that actually qualified for the final. That was about four and a half hours work, and that's quite hard. For me to win today, it would be a great achievement and be the biggest win in my poker career at the moment. So I've been really looking forward to the challenge. LaBeouf is the guy who hasn't won a pot in, I'd say, eight or nine hands. It's cost him. It's cost him a full six, seven hundred. Um, Two hundred plus. Cool. cool. You see, I just can't. Uh, I just can't have it. That, how can they? Pl how are they playing like oh. this? Oh. Oh. <laughs> it was interesting. And, and and Norman, what a fold from the button to the limp, the A7. Yeah, that was that was an amazing pass. <laughs> that was almost psychic. But you're you're absolutely right. And now, what does the Ace King look? Okay. It looks horrible. Um, it's a heart coordinated flop. Come on, Frank, put a chip in. How much? Just, just anything. Yeah, it doesn't matter how much, does it? With Three hundred, maybe. Two hundred. Well, I guess that'll get the job done. It's you know you're four-handed, Jesse. This guy's meant to be, um, you know, he's. I don't know how many people he's had to win through to get here. You know, m maybe a couple of thousand. Sure, absolutely. You know, and, oh, yeah, and you're four-handed, and uh, he's limping him with Ace King. I just, <coughs> just can't see it. Pass. La bouffe. Good pot for the steak. The steak. <laughs> Coup de bouffe. And he headed everything out of the penalty box as well. He did? Yeah. Everything <laughs> that come in, <laughs> boof, he was on it. <laughs> <laughs> what was your What was your favorite moment from... Uh, LaBeouf's career, you remember, pick one out or? I'm not like, um, I'm not like uh, a fan that goes every week, week in, week out, Jesse. Uh, I'm a fair weather fan. <laughs> FA Cups, Champions League matches. This is... Raise 200 more uh, for total. This is a bit of a play from Bouchard. Um, you know, so he's definitely got aggression. You were talking before about how many people you have to be. You have to beat 8,000 people to get here. 8,000. the internet. Yeah. 8,000. <laughs> imagine? I mean, that's like winning the World Series that of Poker. That must have taken <laughs> a whole day. <laughs> the whole day. I think it's probably a couple well. rounds. I mean, it's amazing, really. 
It just shows you, um, you obviously, to, you know, to get through something like that, you need the patience of a saint. And um, this guy's definitely got it, hasn't he? And the aggression of a jackhammer, <laughs> which I'm sure he's handled in his day. He's a concrete breaker. 200. Now this is this decision time for Bouchard. I'd like to see him take his time here. What do you like better, the call or the raise, and why? Right. Well, the raise, you, you know, just we keep on saying, Jesse, the way the game has been going. Um, right. If he just flat calls it, it will go on to the river. You, you've got to get these guys off of um, draws. You know, he's hit top pair. He's got a lousy kicker. Um, and you've got two spades out there with a 10 and a king. So, it, And really, with that bet, rather than find out too much information, all that's happened is the pot got bigger, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Check. And, Check. I mean, and now he has to bet again. You know, he, need, he needs to bet 1,000 here. Don't bet no 200. Don't do it, Raymond. That might be four. That's that might be a pretty big bet. It's still not massive. I mean, if you're LaBeouf here, you you got the odds. Yeah, of course. And if this it comes a nine or an ace, I mean, you know, this pot's massive. Can yeah. Raymond get away from it? He, this is dangerous for Raymond Bouchard. Dangerous. Look. Now he's sunk. What sort of bet do you make here if you're LaBeouf? Or... What sort of bet? Check. Check. Check raising? He's check raising? It's fantastic play, this is. This is fantastic. He's giving him the ball. He's letting him dribble it. 400. 400. Cool. Cool. Oh. Buff. What's that? What's going on? Buff. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Nice yeah. Oh, wow. Call me a taxi. <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> I was afraid that he, uh, I don't know. I thought, he, I thought he had an ace. Did you, no, you got the best hand. Yeah, I know. Now. Yeah, sure now I know. Hand. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. <laughs> <laughs>
Paresh would be a bit sick here because he had a queen there. He, Did he? he? Yeah, I mean, really, he could have called for the value. It was only 200. <laughs> All of the sudden, he's he's won. La bouffe. Yeah. What has he won? He's, he's won about 3,000 without even breaking a sweat. I really thought you had something. Yeah. Look at that. From 975 up to 5,900. Smash and bang. You don't get discount because you want to pop. Yeah? You don't get discount because you want to pop. <laughs> what do they do? That's it. <laughs> you never try, you know. You can't deal. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And very soon, Norman Whiteside is going to be on the ropes um, and need a pot. Pass. Pass. Call. Yeah. Check. It's a bit unfortunate for Raymond. The, the one time he did get sort of busy from the big blind, he got um, he got spanked. Really, that's straight on the river. But he 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 could he could think about that hand and say there's a lot of good things that happened. Bet it big. Bet it big. Three hundred. Well, I, you yeah, know what? that's that's, that's better. Good. That's better. Now, if it comes a blank, I mean, Raymond has to say to himself, right, that there's a lot of draws in Frank's range. Yeah. He, so you know, he's next. But if, if it is a brick here, his next bet should be 7,800. Now he, he should bet 7,800. Check. Check. Slow down, Raymond. Have a think. Have a think. <laughs> I think he's going to do it. Yeah, he's, got, he's got the reds. He's going for more. Six. See, even that is. It's. I think that's enough to get the job done. No. What well, you? Yeah, I, I mean, I, he, obviously he's not. Frank is not because he's not that advanced at, at playing. But what you got to look at is your your value. You, the other guy's chip stack, and if you do hit, what else you're gonna get? Right. That's now that's what should be going through your mind. With <laughs> the, so for six hundred. He could you, have you can be getting 3,000. Yeah. yeah. You know, and he, he could possibly win the tournament. Should have been a, bit, a little bit higher than the last. Uh, yeah. 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 It's it's those it's those little margins, isn't it? You have to hit them right. Look at this, though. Top of the tree. And Patel has basically run on the treadmill for this last level. Still at four grand. Leboeuf has taken some from Bosch Hart and the rest from Whiteside. Norman's got to hope that he picks up um, some nice cards earlier or he's got to maximise his button when it gets to him. Now, Raymond's opening up the door for a disaster. He's flopped well. He's flopped very well. 300. And how should Norman think about this? He can beat a bluff. Could Raymond be bluffing here? A good yes. fold yeah, there, good fold. Gloves of the goalie. The goalie's gone. <laughs> um, <laughs> blinds up 150, 300. Just what I understand about this young Dutchman's sort of poker resume. Uh, not only is he qualified for this tournament, in the last year he won two packages to the WSOP. Cool. Um, so he may be a bit of a He's, package yeah. specialist, if you know well, what I mean. You know what, Jesse, that makes exact sense to me now. You know, he's obviously uh, a specialist in cool. these big fields, okay. and he's, you know, his game okay. no race. Um, is perfect for them. And, and, you know, this is a specialised format, and, and he just hasn't grasped this yet but you know he must have the game for them big tourners now interestingly enough um check check, check. leboeuf has just limped i believe and now he's mm. slipped the kings 
He likes a little check, doesn't he, with the big hands, well, Frank? I mean, look at this big bet that that Bouchard has stuck out with the top pair. And I mean, if LeBuff sticks the hammer, is it the right play to stick the hammer down now? Oh. Or are you worried about getting oh. called by yeah. a call? He, yeah, I think he's done well here. I, I'd probably just call this. You know, he, he's got a big enough hand just to call, isn't he? Certainly does. I wonder what Check. Bouchard's going to do on the turn. He's calling! Well, I'll tell you well, what. Well, this is something we haven't seen. It, and you, you know what? I love the almost. play. Mm -hmm. I think he's, it's going to end up. Thousands. Might knock him out of the tournament. Yeah, I think they both played the hand. I mean, we're assuming um, Frank's going to call. If I'm correct. And I think they both played the hand, yeah, you know, 100% right. right. There you go. Look at yeah. this. Uh, and. Bouchard is going to be beside himself when he 28. sees LaBeouf's cards. He never, ever got, expect yeah. to see these. Oh. He's got outs here. Well, t two jacks and, yeah, two jacks and two eights. Flush. Good end. Thank you. Well, well yeah. very about gracious, that, then, yeah. Um, what a trap that LaBeouf set. I can't even believe it. He tried it earlier. He he, um, he limped with big hands yeah. early, and it, it didn't come off for him. But um, he certainly got the lot there. And, you know, in a way, a bit unlucky there for the Dutch Bouchard. I mean, he finally got himself together for the big bet, protecting his hand, you know, like he wished he'd had done with that, against that straight draw. That's and right, yeah. walked into the Conkers. Yeah. Currently, the chip leader with 8,900. Yeah, His graph yeah, of uh, accumulating the back. chips, Frank <laughs> LaBeouf, <laughs> it's been, you know, started off a little stormy and now steady. I mean, he's got possession of this ball, doesn't he? Oh, it's, I think he's been absolutely awesome. You know, he, he played that last hand to perfection, Jesse. You know, it, let's go. a bit Paul? fortunate that the other guy had top pair and he decided to, to play it aggressive, but I think LaBeouf's played brilliant. Check. Yeah, you can find a bet here in order. 300. 300. Definitely find a bet here. Pass. Pass. Started so promising for Norman Whiteside. He had the Kings, he had the Ace King against the Aces. He made a big straight on the river. And you know, you think back. Those were the big hands he won, and since then it's been yeah. really dry in his corner. Uh, a couple things started off and didn't materialize. And he's got, you know, he's got five and a half big blinds. The way this game plays, though, he's got plenty of fold equity, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. Yeah, he yeah, starts shut. <laughs> oh, look at this. 150 to call. 300 total. Should I go? 150 to call. 150 to call. Um. I'm we'll do 500 in total. Okay, it has to be 600. 600. He's got the min raise in, um, which is a good idea. I mean, his stack is so short that there's going to be a lot of ways for him to get his chips in. Um, well, this is one of them. Yeah, well, they're all going to go in here. Yeah, Paresh can't do anything but re raise all in, really. How much more do you have? How much more do you um, oh, did you see the little bit of no, grin no. there? The, you know. <laughs> Come on. All in. And, All in and call. you know, Patel here. Ace Queen is such a strong hand, three, three hand. Oh, it's massive. Mm. massive. It's massive. massive. Anything, you can it? see, even though he's in trouble, Patel, he's still got plenty of equity here. He's going to win this, what? One out of uh, yeah. one out of four, one out of three, I guess. And one out of this one. This is the one. Yeah. Poor Norbin. He's ours. Diamond, his second best card. Bring on the bucket. Where's the sponge? <laughs> World Cup debutante mm. well is right. finally. You know, well they just took well out well the ru defending well runner-up. Well took well some well doing well after his strong start, well Norman Whiteside. Well He's on the run. Well, when, when this happens three-handed, uh, 
I don't care if it's this tournament or deep stack. Yeah. Uh, there's there's no, nothing, no other ending for this. That they, all the chips go in. Yeah. I quite enjoyed the game today. The table was a bit quieter than normal. Um, I think every woman's given it a lot of concentration today. Um, but I, in my own mind, I didn't think I played that well. I made a couple of silly mistakes, um, you know, beginner's mistakes. But um, I still enjoyed the day. It was a good day out. Well, this would be a mismatch on the football pitch, but on the poker table, anything's possible. And for Paresh Patel, what a dream. Qualified off the internet, he's cruised to this heads-up stage, but now has to get past a wall. One of the great defenders in the history of this sport, <laughs> Frank LaBeouf, who's also... Seems that he has no shortage of instincts at the poker table as well. And the chip lead for LaBeouf, 8,300. It's, it's not two to one, but it's not far off. Um, you look at those bet frequencies, Ian, and I mean, even though Patel was very active early, LaBeouf has set the pace of late. Yeah, it's been all Frank um, in the last uh, 40 minutes for sure. I think he'll be up. No, up against it here, though, um, Jesse, yeah. you know, uh, heads yeah. up is a completely different animal, and um, I think the experience of this guy, uh -huh. he's got to make him the favourite. Well. I know he's got less chips. Okay. I don't like this. I, I think um, the, the way he's, uh, his approach here, Paresh, it, it just falls into LaBeouf's lap, really. It's how he wants to play the game. Yeah. He's got to get him Check. on the edge Check. of his seat and make him feel uncomfortable. 300. Well, now, this is in position. If he decides he's going to be aggressive in position, it's not bad because LaBeouf is going to have to match that or he's going to start to lose chips. You know what I mean? If they uh, check yeah, it down yeah. every time LaBeouf's on the button and and Patel steals it every time he's on the button. Uh, right. This is good. I mean, you know, he's had to think about oh. this. Uh, he must realize that the ace is um, a good, good card heads up with this sort of flop. And this is going to test Paresh as well yeah, because let's see what he does here, now there's 1,200 out there. Yeah. What do you think? You got it? Well, let's yeah. see. Oh, he's, he's got it. And you Six. know what? This is the first second Six. bullet he's shown. And I don't think you can call here if you're Frank. No, he, no, he can't. He's passed. To me, though, that should have been eight. But then that's just um, me saying it. But this is what he needs to do, this guy, you know. If he doesn't do this, he's playing into Frank's hands, yeah. really, and he's playing his way. And uh, I think that the ending um, is written all over the wall. That you, you Frank LaBeouf will win it. So he, he does need to change his game now. You can't bam unless you can bam, bam. And you can't bam, bam unless you can bam, bam, bam. Oh. <laughs> really, Holdem needs three bams. <laughs> Three hundred. This is why you should raise pre-flop. Call. Call. Well, Bresh is pretty sure his hand is good now. Is he going to bet most? He's going to have to bet that turn. You'd think he'd have to bet that turn. Is he at all worried that Lebuff is sitting for him? Well, that's a big bet. It's not really, it's not but five it, into twelve. It's not just. It's I know, but it sounds like it. You know, with the action that's happened here. Mm. It's like a whole different. I don't know. It's like a different, whole different game. I'm trying to figure out if it's my TV set or if his shirt is actually purple. But I'm trying to figure that out for a couple hours now. I think I've decided it's purple. Maybe it's my TV set. Now let's see if he uh, raises this button. He's counting them out. No raise. Four more. Raise. Four more, seven total. See, I, I feel like... I mean, is there any idea that this could get Patel into trouble? Making the pot big and then 
you know, being forced oh. to bet the flop when you miss her. That's just poker. Yeah, that's, that's uh, it. The other way he's been playing is not working for him. Right. This pot is 1,400, and it's a good flop for Patel in the sense that LaBeouf has missed. Now, he won't know it till he bets. Check. 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 Ooch. Oh, yeah, he's, he's missed a bet there. Ooch. They both got a draw. You can see by the percentages, all is not as it Check. seems. Check. LaBeouf is going to win this if it gets checked down. Paresh, there's 1,400 in there. Four hearts. You cannot, you cannot check now. <laughs> you cannot check. <laughs> oh, like it. How do you like this? 500. How do you How like that? How do you like them eggs? Pass. He's different class. He is. Frank LaBeouf. He's different class. He stepped up to the spot, didn't he? he stepped up to the spot. Kept in the chip lead as well. Um, I mean, that pot would have swung the chip lead either way. Oh, cool. Cool. No race. Check. No race. Wow, he picks up some aces, this guy, don't he? Yeah. And is he going to lead? Well, he could lead with this. Mm -mm. It's been working. Mm -mm. Uh, Paresh looks interested, doesn't he? See? 300. That's 300. not a big bet. That's, in fact, that's the minimum bet, and it looks it looks like a bet that's not strong. It feels... Well, he, he might he might peel one off here because he's got bottom pair. But, you know, yeah, see? Wow. Now, Frank must be thinking, I'm the king of the castle here. What's going on? <laughs> yes. All you do is you call, three cards come bottom. down, I bet he passes. <laughs> My always made <laughs> Button is Paresh. He's raised once, and all the other times he's limped. He may have folded once. You know, they played about. Jeez, they played about 20 hands already. Heads up. I mean, it's it's enough to get a line on your opponent. I'll make it 12 to play. Raise 1,200 title. And so it's gonna be 10, 10 for me. Eight. Eight. Four. Eight. And Four. I think the call here is because it's the second time in a row Patel has done it. Yes. Um, whether he's right or wrong, this is just human nature coming out here. You just think you're the guy who's trying to push you around. Wow. He might actually lead. I mean, he might. Oh, he's got a hand. He's got a hand. <laughs> he's got. Let's just check. I haven't got a straight in it. It's only top pair. Has to be one time. Okay, keep your chips behind the line and say how much you yeah. want to bet before, and then you can make it. 500? The minimum it has to be, be is 400. You can bet 400 and above. Okay, so 500. 500, yep. Now, <coughs> there's two things going on here. First of all, Patel hates this <laughs> flop. <laughs> <laughs> <Awesome. But laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> The other thing is, it wasn't that big tell a bet. I mean, now watch the TV. Now. He must <laughs> be thinking. <laughs> I'll tell you after. He's called he my raise so with some of these garbage cards. Right. That's what he must yeah. be thinking. Yeah. You know, he's called my. <laughs> Maybe he shouldn't raise then. Cool. I'll check. No raise. Well, certainly the way he's feeling now. Y you know, you, you can be you can be too results oriented in this thing too. I mean, just because something doesn't work, I don't know. Every time we check. see this check. sort of flop, he bets check. it, Frank. Check. <laughs> he's checked this one. He's got a flush draw, but it's in name only. The deuce. And you know the last time. Four hundred. This is what I like That's to see. Bet. That's a good bet. Cool. cool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's scaring the life out of Paresh on a regular basis. Now he's got to dig down deep. Uh, but can you? No, but he's got the winning hand anyway, isn't he? Yeah, he does. Check. Check. He's queen. Oh no, it don't. It's a split nine, pot. It's it a is split a split pot. pot. I think you win, huh? Split pot. Actually, we split it. Yeah? Yeah. 
Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's looked so over things. <laughs> he's called me with a Queen Deuce. Yeah. And LeBuff oh, might... Diamond. Well, he, he could also yeah. look at that and say, what, 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 what exactly sure were you betting on? Mm. Mm. Another one, yeah. Must be <laughs> <laughs> he must be thinking that to himself a little bit. <laughs> I mean that could cure Paresha bluffing. I mean that's oh, that could. I yeah. think he's had the life scared out of him twice now. It's really hard to figure out. He's tried. He has tried a couple different oh. things. Oh. Um, check, check. Nothing has really worked. Well, this is what this is what works. Flopping the joint. And head up two pair is always check the check. nuts. Four hundred. I call. Cool. Now this is a great situation for Paresh. Even if LeBuff hits his best card, Patel is still a massive favorite. Now he doesn't know that. But he can assume he's got a very strong hand. And he Check. Check. You know what? I think he's finally decided to try. <laughs> he's finally decided he wished he'd been betting bigger all the whole game. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> you know, that one after. yeah, please. <laughs> Bluffer. Maybe there the, was Wasn't the time <laughs> to, to keep it a 600 bet. You know, for your two pair. Mine's right now 600. That's. Well, let's see. It's about 5% of the chips in play in on the blinds. Not far off, anyway. All right. Rise. Six more. Ten, five, four. Six more. He has been calling more raises Hello. from the blind, and because of that, I think... <laughs> He's checked arc? Did he? I don't know. You just give him a look. <laughs> Four. 400. Call. That bet's getting called. If the next bet is big, yeah. is it getting called? That's what, It's a tricky spot for Paresh here. Well, he's got a nice back. He's picked up the flush draw as insurance. Yeah, you can't get rid of him now. Call. <coughs> this pot's very big. This is the biggest one they played so far. And I don't know if LeBuff realizes how big he has to bet here to get Patel to fold. How big does he have to bet? Got to go. He got to go really big. 500. Mm. If the, if this bet was just a thousand, um, he'd probably pass. But 500, he must. He must go. His kicker is so bad with the king that he's saying the straight odds of it. He only has to be right here one time in like eight. Yeah. Pass. Oh, you know what? You you can never let the math beat you, can you? You so really. You, you need to know this. You stuff cannot is. let the math beat you like that. Um, you know, from a psychology point of view, Paresh is saying to himself, "Look, the guy's bet three times. He's had it all the time." But wow, he's getting seven to one. Unbelievable. Right? <laughs> yeah. And that was um, look at that pot. Yeah. Look at that pot. I That's don't know. The, that was the biggest pot they played. Yeah, you know, and the psychology of it, pressure. Well, look, he put out that bet. He wants to get called. It looks like it oh. wanted to be called. Check. So it's almost like that flush draw was a bad thing for Paresh because it made him think well. I'll call here and fold on the river if I miss. He's in trouble now. He's in big, big Check. trouble. That pot. Think of that pot. What that pot did. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. 500. Now, I'm expecting all the money to go in here. and, and them to I'd love it. a club to come. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. 
Yeah, he's he's gone tops here. One thousand. It's, it's a nice size oh. bet. Three thousand. Raised to three thousand. And he's gonna have a think about. It. There is one hand out there that beats him, but you know what? You're not folding. No, you can't pass that. <laughs> Same hand. Well, that for a chop. <laughs> Okay, take the last 3,000 back. It's the first time I've seen LeBook make a raise on the river. <laughs> it's the first time he's done it. Thank you. He's got his work cut out for him, Paresh Patel. And now that he's only got, cool. you know, 4,000, no, no. 10 raise big blinds. So he's he, raised here, yeah, look. Yeah. Cool. Um, if, if Patel misses this flop, it, it, it might already pass him by. I didn't know if he had enough, you know, it could have been a shove, could have been the play there. Yeah. What a, you know, it feels like it, you're getting too big. Well, he's, he's gotten out of it here in a big way. 400. Such a big hand. Such a big, big hand. Thousand. Raised to a thousand oh, total. No, so Six more. He's just giving him a chance to get off it here. Oh. Not sure. Eight, eight. Six more. Six more. I guess he's thinking about the backdoor possibilities. Cool. <coughs> I might just feel like because he bet out, he has to call. It is a big pot all of a sudden. Eight of diamonds. That's the key card here for LeBeouf. Jeez, a full house. Full house. 21, I got. <laughs> Just in case you wanted to know. It'd be a gutsy bluff, but really after you've bet and he's raised. This is uh, just a little bit of an experience. Oh, sorry, sorry. Patel is licking his lips right yeah. now. Yeah. It's the Go nut. On. He's on in. He's such more lane, yeah? Yeah. 21. <laughs> he's got to call. He's oh. called right Pretty away. Cool. That Pass hand face. cannot be beat. <laughs> King seven. My God. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he would never go. <laughs> <laughs> it's the biggest bluff LeBuff has made tonight. <laughs> Look at the time he's picked to do it. The I man flopped two pair and turned the... <laughs> <laughs> he's turned the, the garbanzos. Well, what a gift for Paresh. I mean, oh. it, it stuck him straight back in the gut. <laughs> yeah, um, unbelievable gift that was, just mm -hmm. at the right time. He was looking like he was on the ropes, and, uh, you know, he's made that call, called the raise pre-flop. If he misses, um, a completely different story. Instead, the double up the chip lead. Not only that, but... He caught LeBeouf bluffing, which certainly is going to give him pause to think. I don't know Boy. what he should think. Check. Frank LeBeouf. Well, he's hit this flop. Check. So has Patel, both in Check. very minor Check. ways. But you know, you <coughs> either one of them could have. I think Paresh is going to bet here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He should be, right? I mean, yeah. he should be betting. Cool. Cool. The question is, what should he be doing on the river? Looks like it could be a club draw. You, you w Check. <coughs> That's an interesting oh, value oh, bet. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it myself. I would have just turned the cards over, but if he gets a call here... He's a master. He's, he's pretty curious. It really doesn't look like a nine. It, it looks like it could have been a queen. Sure, any kind of straight draw or something kind of got there. That was a buff. <laughs> <laughs> that was Le Beuf. Was that Le Beuf? That wasn't a bluff. That was Le Beuf. Pretty well said. It was not a bluff. It was Le Beuf. Between you and me. OK. <laughs> <laughs> When the stacks are relatively level, so important not to lose a big pot, maybe even win a small one. Check. Check. 
And no worries about Frank limping with the King Deuce suited. He's in great shape here. Swing and miss, but... Check. 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 King High, good. There's 800 out there, boys. 400. Yeah. I think he's getting called here. Don't know why. What could you have? Let's see. <laughs> 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 Petrified him again. <laughs> now, <laughs> there is. Oh my gosh. Look at this. He's made the straight. He's made a straight on the river. 600. That is impossible. Impossible. I mean, interestingly enough, the king does have some showdown value. You know, he said himself, it's definitely not a three because he would have checked the three on the river. I mean, you could really yeah, almost yeah, talk yourself so into it. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and that would be if stupid. the five hadn't have come, he might have bet it, and the king high would have been cool. That's the funny thing. Thanks. <laughs> I, need more, more, I think more to do with what you said. No. <laughs> cool. I'll check. The thing about heads ups is they're they're so relentless. You obviously have to play every hand. You can't really take any time off. Sometimes you just want to, you know, it's. You have to concentrate all the time. You know, just try to log everything. What your what you what your opposition's doing um, with Check. certain certain hands. Check. Keep your eye on on when he turns his cards over and log that hand. That's why I always get amazed on the internet when these guys, they're playing Eight. four tables heads up. <laughs> you know, I mean, I mean, the amount of information. Um, I mean, I even have, I have trouble watching four tables heads up, obviously. And he's made a pretty big bet. He's bet 8 into 12, which is a real size. Now, cool. LaBeouf's going for this straight. Um, if it hits, he's going to be right back in it. It hasn't, but right. this has opened the door for the bluff. Check. No. Ooch! You got a spade, you win. Ooch! He made that bluff I earlier. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. I was waiting for the ace. Oh, he made that bluff yeah. earlier. Uh, frustrating. And, you know, Paresh actually might have called yeah, a lot of bets there. Part. I mean, he did have two yeah. pair. Good card for me, but... Patel has really ground him down here in an efficient fashion. Um, Hasn't yeah, been time really efficient, but it hasn't yeah, been no, energy yeah, efficient. Yeah. Oh, cool. Cool. Yeah. I raise. Raise. 600 more to our total. Oh, cool. Cool. Now, if I'm Paresh Patel here, I'm, you have to be a little bit aware that, that this could be a premium hand here by LaBeouf. You know, he's he raised. He, he raised. Yeah, he hasn't even had a bet for half an hour, and now he's raised. I mean, Patel could hit an 8 or a 10 here, and if LaBeouf moves all in, well, I just don't know. Oh, well, just it's just over as well. Well, that's the end. That's the end. I feel a bit bad that it had to happen like this for Frank. Doesn't. And... You really got a call here, actually. I mean, Presh doesn't know that Frank has the king. Well, maybe make a minimum raise. It doesn't raise. You must call. You must just call. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Well, he's got two outs. Yeah, he does. Uh, he's got a backdoor heart draw. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What a way to finish oh, it. Cool. Oh, my. Four yes. eights. I like it, Frank. That's the only way this game was coming to an end. Oh, it's a ball. Bonnet de douche. It's a big end to come to that. It's crazy. <laughs> it is good. It's a bit crazy, isn't it? It is a bit crazy. Bash. Now the river's immaterial, unless it's a fifth eight. It's the only thing that could. What an end. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Yes, I'll see you in a minute. Well, yeah. he, he took a while. It took a while to find his way, Paresh, but in the end, he got it. LaBeouf, I'll tell you what. This man, if he gets hooked on this game, he's a player. Yeah, I he's thought he good. played absolutely fantastic. You he know, and, and until he got mm. the um, stuff in knocked out of him with a full house. Look at this for a final round. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? Uh, it felt like Patel was taking a bit of a chance there. Um, but you know what? You flop the three eights, you turn the quads. That makes things right. Cool. Lovely. For Paresh Patel, now that he's found the winning ways, I think he's going to be very tough on the final table. I had a good run of cards early on and gave me, put, put, put me in very good stead with the chips. So I was always comfortable. I was never under any pressure until the later stages when we got heads up. But Frank, I think, really played really well. For, for, for him to be playing the first time, he played really, really well. I'm happy because I bluff sometimes, and I'm not very good because I'm straightforward in my life. I'm very honest. I'm frank. But uh, at the end of the day, I, I managed to do some, some, uh, some good bluffing, you know, without having anything. So it was great, and I made it. So well, maybe there is a future. We never know. Next time on the Sports Stars Challenge for the Golfers Tee Off when Ryder Cup stars past and present hit the table.